Hi there, so uh, this will be my first tutorial on Amiga Paint, uh, it's called uh, Noob Teach Noobs and it's very uh, appropriate name because uh, I am a noob in drawing, I was scared at drawing, I was, I had that wrong impression that uh, you only born to draw and you can't uh, uh, draw otherwise, but uh, I think I was wrong and I, I'll try to make uh, sure that if you also thought this that you were wrong so uh, let's let's get on with uh, we will draw this <laughs> I'm kidding no this is uh, just a setup uh, uh, you can go ahead on YouTube. I have no idea what will, uh, what uh, the final drawing drawing would look would look like. You can go ahead to the end of the video. I'll leave it there for ten seconds, and you will see. So if you're happy, go back and uh, let's uh, continue. So as I mentioned, uh, I was uh, scared of drawing and. Uh, for the for this first lesson, I'll only try to teach you three things that I think will drastically improve your drawing. Even if you are, you know, uh, the usual stuff. Uh, I only know to draw uh, stick figures and stuff like that. That's okay. I'll, I only, I also feel like that. I only know to draw to draw this. So uh, as I seen other tutorial. Uh, of Feng Zhu, uh, there's a s there's some things that can be learned pretty fast, uh, that can look organic, and uh, this is uh, things like uh, mountain trees, trees roots. Uh, so it's a very good place to start. You know, uh, for the human, you know, you you need to know anatomy and all star uh, sorts of thing uh, of of things. Uh, sorry for my English, uh, but good perspective uh, that I'm still learning and uh, so on. So for this first lesson, it will be just three points, but very simple. Uh, it could get you to practice, practice uh, all these things, and you will see you will learn very fast. And why Amiga? Because it's awesome because it's uh, very very cool so let's say we want to draw a mountains uh, and something like that a nature a nature landscape landscape uh, so <laughs> I remember when I was at school uh, we had the same uh, on the classroom uh, the same task uh, to draw the mountains and I asked my friend uh, man I, I I don't have idea how to draw a mountain and he he told me look it's easy uh, I'll show you and he showed me something like this just do this for the hills and mountains and I was wow yeah that makes sense because they are go one behind them I mean I had 10 years or something and uh, this is so wrong. Uh, I mean, I I don't dub dub the intention of my friend, uh, but uh, <laughs> this looks more like eggs in a pile than uh, mountains. Uh, my friend had had only good intention to help me, and this is the way he drew them, and okay, it's okay. Uh, but uh, this puts me pretty back. Much later in my life, I had uh, tried again and asked my friend that really draws good. So, how I draw the mountain? And he told me, try to stick uh, for the first only, I mean, there, there's a lots of different types of mountains, uh, but he told me, try to stick only at this shape. So, like triangle. And another smaller tri triangle billet. Just this, just this. This is the basic. So, for all of you coders, it will be like uh, this, 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 this. So that that's the you know. Uh, 
it's always nicer of course to have the you know to have the hand uh, draw fill like this and then you, you you just continue look I draw just just the same and bigger and behind them again and here another and this is already looking much better than th than these eggs uh, we draw so here is the first rule try to draw mountings at least if you don't have idea i mean uh, you know there's a uh, uh, lots of different types of mounty there's a desert type of you know uh, these uh, mountains but but uh, these are just uh, you know the desert one uh, what I'm talking about uh, like in uh, that bird in the in the coyote coyote uh, but I'm, I'm just trying to uh, simplify it. So let's let's just use this type of uh, thing. Okay. So this is the first rule. Let's try drawing them like that. The second rule. So these are uh, where these dots. Uh, we're at the beginning uh, we'll try to draw uh, of course uh, the background will be something like uh, bluish uh, very light like the sky so it's a very very light color and we will try making uh, the furthest mountain very light very similar to the color but a little bit dark very similar to the light uh, to the sky color but a little bit darker and in front of her we'll make a mountain that is a little bit darker this is too much dar darker but you know what i mean and in front of this we will place this is just uh, how the at atmosphere uh, fog works so all you need to remember is uh, that in the broad daylight you have a uh, background like uh, blue and uh, uh, these three values and the third the sun uh, position that's also easy sun position so if uh, sun sun is uh, go like this right this will be brighter in the on the sphere sorry this will be brighter and this will be darker but that's uh, that's maybe for another topic so let's get on with it now I, I will draw the mountains uh, as best as I can and I'm, I'm, I'm telling you I'm, I'm also noob I'll draw it like this uh, you know but I won't uh, get in too much details and uh, use, uh, you know, uh, carefully now because it will take us too much ta time carefully painting them and everything we will just try to do fast and to be efficient you notice I'm using personal paint I could do the deep paint I'm using personal paint uh, just for a few reasons there is more undo in personal paint more more ways to go back uh, a little bit better uh, zoom option and uh, some of the options are a little bit more advanced that's the only reason so you you can uh, follow this tutorial on the deluxe paint no problem so I will uh, draw the mountains uh, like uh, uh, like this uh, something you know I won't spend too much time okay let's go let's first uh, use the background uh, let's let's pick some uh, background uh, 
nice white uh, sky like color so we can of course uh, pick this one and let's say we want to use that one I mean this is not sky color but we can easily change palette uh, edit and this is the color the last color this color this is the color we are using so hue we will change the color saturation we will change the intensity of you no know, saturation and value the brightness of the color so uh, hue so obviously we need some blue right so we will need to raise brightness this is still looking green too much green this is okay saturation you don't go with light color uh, with very light color with very uh, with too much saturation you go pretty much down so you have that natural look so basically the rule is uh, as the value goes up the saturation goes down as the value goes down the saturation goes up but that is also for another lesson so I mean we won't be too too much picky okay so this is the first one and this is the second one uh, second let me go again you will see me constantly closing uh, <laughs> this window even I shouldn't so I will just copy this color to this color so I pick this color and this is the copy button and I'm telling him okay just copy me this so now uh, all I all I will do is make value a little bit darker like we said and saturation a little bit higher maybe I can play with hue so it goes a little bit green a little bit you know I even think I gone too much but uh, you know for the far mountain uh, should be really really hardly distinguishable and that way you simulate fog and it's uh, very cool I'll pick this uh, brush and let's try like I said uh, let's try do it the same shape like this then again whoops whoops don't uh, be too uh, because maybe don't be too precise on this I mean if you you can if you if you're filling up to it but uh, over top layers may uh, cover this so don't I usually don't pay too much attention at this point just be you know uh, try to also try to make it a little bit different don't make same size mountain so this is a bigger this is big this is most uh, bigger mountain so try to vary in the let's do it just like this I mean sometimes you can miss uh, this part of the triangle but let's just you can add your own shape to randomize a little bit but this is wrong so I go on undo and I'll pick this background color uh, right click as a background color so with right click I can delete it just that's it great I'm done with first layer right Now I could uh, all this uh, down paint, but it really doesn't matter. This point, I like this spike here. It was an accident, happy accident that is called it painting. Uh, you know, sometimes. Uh, so now let's copy this color to this color. Same as before. 
copy make it a little bit darker maybe hue a little bit something else just a little bit variation and saturation a little bit stronger and let's see okay you can go above it you can now you know you can start making some other shapes doesn't you, you see how it comes all together it's just uh, need to looks this looks like a dog to me now uh, doesn't matter you just need to uh, I think everybody have talents for that you just need to make sure that you don't do a mountain like uh, this we all know this won't hold up it will crack here and it will fall down right uh, so you only need to watch uh, on these type of things and uh, just be creative for example I think this could fall fall down but I'll do uh, a hill mountain hill like this and you can like connect it you know in a cool way connect it but not like this but you can try making something that that looks a little bit maybe it's better something like thi this and I, I mean again it doesn't matter because it might be overwritten again on the next layer now how many layers it's up to you to decide uh, I'll do three now three is more than enough three is I think uh, very good very okay you see how I again I'm doing the, the same shape and I like it because I see here uh, there's a another bigger one and let's call it finish it for this see how is it how is it it is when you are uh, know what you're doing okay okay uh, again uh, the more darker we 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 go uh, the more closer it will look we're just helping ourselves to be uh, these are just the rules i didn't invent them god invented them or nature or whatever you call it uh, saturation value now let's get this really dark and maybe less greenish more bluish and uh, maybe we can do again sometimes uh, some type of I mean you just know try try variety of things I mean it it makes sense right the darker the the closer right okay let's go even and paint this all the way down okay uh, and let's go one more step I think three is good but let's go one more step let's go really dark here copy here and let's go really really dark 
saturation I think this is enough uh, you won't see much difference anyway and uh, here you can go ahead and uh, draw like a tree or something like that uh, you saw from my images I draw something like that and again I won't spend too much time on it so just a little hill little hill and a tree right probably I'll need some better yeah I'll need some better uh, the tree the way I draw it I draw a lots of tree I like tree very much so it's really enjoying but the usual stuff you divide it in half then in half then in uh, with uh, smaller smaller uh, what is it called you understand me you divide it in half in half in half of course it will be cracked here so so thin you just fix these things with brush I wanted to say and like this let's go just fast this now this looks like a shadow because we didn't finish it uh, finish the mountain and it's bad looking this the stuff you should fix right away so this is also a part of the closer mountain and oops it's always good to have uh, maybe some other tree here maybe you know uh, the rule of the thirds uh, you don't uh, basic uh, rule of the thirds for the composition of the image uh, the simplest one you just uh, look that uh, your point of interest is uh, here 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 and here so you pick two two of them and you draw uh, something interesting in there I'll go undo undo here and we'll make here just a small but interesting hill not hill but something something it doesn't have to be recognizable but has to be something unique so maybe it could be a monkey you see uh, what I'm telling uh, uh, I don't know how to draw but uh, this looks like an arm of an uh, orangutan just by accident uh, and uh, this head looks too much so I'll just Whoop, and leave the audience to wonder if I draw an orang orangutan here right this just uh, came by accident and cool uh, let's quickly just finish the tree I mean not, not finish it uh, let's just uh, make it a little bit more detailed okay and this is the second uh, of the oops, of the point 
so the first point was the shape of the mountain so basically just this right simple as that uh, second point now uh, this tree for example imagine that this tree is a little bit weird so let's go and make it like this why not you'll see uh, you might think that uh, this will not uh, comes uh, this idea to, to, to your head it will trust me it will you are as imaginative as anyone else it will uh, it's just the way painting uh, works that's why many people enjoy it and enjoying it uh, it's just uh, when you draw it uh, it just give you another idea and another and another and of course uh, this is okay to draw uh, for fun like this but uh, real practicing is uh, trying to copy uh, the real images or the real masters uh, so don't be afraid it's uh, it will only help you improve it will only only help you improve so this is the and the third point is this uh, so I made this all colors I should have separated by two uh, or by three we have only 16 colors here so we had space for uh, three because for the shading you wanted to you know to have a a little bit extra color for dark of this color and for light of this color that's all you need and a little bit extra color for dark and light same here for for the farthest mountain and maybe even for this one you don't need that uh, they are so much in the fog uh, you don't really see uh, the you know the the light hitting and they're all they're all just like a silhouette like in the nature but uh, let's try just and we are done with uh, the, the last let's just try make this uh, shape a little bit more uh, recognizable so uh, again I should uh, you can plan colors all, all whatever you like maybe this is also good planning so uh, these are the main colors and here we can uh, create our uh, variation for example so for the dark color uh, we'll pick this uh, palette edit dark color copy it to the next one and now make it a little bit lighter so still darker than this I mean it can be even lighter than this but a little bit lighter and a little bit less saturated of course and so if this is a monkey orangutan we can go ahead and I think we need a little bit even more lighter now uh, we can change this even afterwards but never mind so like this and I'll just paint uh, No, uh, I will paint hard lines, and you can go pixel by pixel, whatever you you feel. And uh, I mean, uh, it's assuming uh, this is not good. Uh, let me show you better. Uh, I mean, it's uh, it's assuming uh, if the lights go this way. That's why I try to paint. But let's let's try that light goes this way same thing same thing uh, so let's pick let's pick even lighter color and uh, I'll be now I'm sorry for that but this is just the purpose of demonstration I'll be down now really quick and dirty but let's just say oops uh, let's just say we want him here is light right and here is the rock 
behind him that is also white but we'll ignore rock right now so here is the tree the tree will also get light from, from that side right the roots will have light a little bit of light from that side and I guess this part of the hand from inside will get a little bit of light right uh, again oops so let's draw this cliff or whatever it is also a little bit of light right uh, this now you want you don't need to be exact precise this this will be also light probably something like and let's now pick dark one so this last one and let's now pick and edit uh, so we use uh, this light let's now pick copy this to this another color and go even darker go in even darker so we have medium color lighter darker again you can organize your color whatever you like so this will be the shaded side right and we can go shade this now this needs practice you need to practice some time to to you know but you already get the the feeling right of the 3d uh, 3d uh, yeah of course uh, we could do this quickly also all 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 this hill maybe it will show even better so this is dark this is dark side of the tree right oops dark side dark dark and this is light side of the tree now this is terrible looking but I don't want to get you too bored but let's go with thinner lines we can use zoom and uh, the point is to blend it uh, blend it is it's uh, from what I can tell it's easier to just go uh, forth and back forth and back forth and back forth and back so you just draw one color another or you can try to be more precise you don't want to lose too much color of the uh, personally I think people are bored with shading with this ty type I really enjoyed it I don't know why I really enjoyed it uh, to make you know now if you uh, blur your you know what I mean if you blur your uh, vision uh, if you make everything blurry in your eye this picture somehow makes sense I hope of course this doesn't have to be monkey it could be uh, tree tree stump it could be whatever but it is uh, makes sense right and there you go with uh, these principles you can easily create something I mean not perfect far pro from perfect and drawing uh, is a little bit you know you need to have a little bit pat patient for it uh, but once you know what you're doing you see uh, I mean this is far far from anything perfect but I think for a beginner photo it's for beginning painting uh, it's acceptable it's acceptable 
should be acceptable, to, really. And that concludes our first line lesson. Uh, noob teach noobs. Let's leave this image a little bit. And let's say again Amiga Amiga Rocks. And hope you enjoyed it. I'll prepare another lesson hopefully soon. And talk to you soon. Cheers. <laughs>